Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am officially disclosing our location because we are headed out. We have been in Payson, Arizona, and it's been a gorgeous week. It's been peaceful, serene. The weather has been mostly perfect, but we are getting ready to pack up and head out to our next destination. I have a Life at Camp episode for you here. So like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and let's have some fun. As usual, I have some bacon going this morning. And then today will be shower day. I already made my bed, got the van organized inside. Next will be to put up the shower tent going to wash my hair today so that'll be great and I put out my solar already off to a productive day I took my shower today and washed my hair I have a video that I just posted about the entire process of setting up my tent and how I shower and do all of that so be sure to watch that and I decided hey since I have my tent up I will put my toilet in it I never do that. It's so rare. I always have my toilet sitting on my floor here uh, because I inevitably have to use it like one time in the night and I don't want to get out of my van. But the weather's nice and my tent is up, so I went ahead and put the toilet in there for now. I'll move it back in there tonight. And I have camp nice and cleaned up. There's kiddo. I got my dishes done listening to the Diamondbacks game have to clean up my trash a little bit but it is 65 and sunny today so much nicer than yesterday I really struggled with the gloom and the cold from yesterday so I am taking full advantage of this pristine forecast look at kiddo just laying on his bed under his towel <laughs> cute boy I am having an incredibly productive day here, folks. So I was sitting in my chair under the shade uh, listening to the Diamondbacks game on my tablet, and I realized I hadn't cleaned out my bottom shelf here in a while. So this is what I keep down there, my bug repellent, my rodent repellent, my binder clips, lanterns, and my little hand broom. So I'm taking out a Clorox wipe to wipe that down. I kind of do it one shelf at a time, and since, again, I'm feeling super productive today, I was looking for more stuff to do. I did my dishes, and I used my dishwater to water my Shelly the Skelly, just getting her some sun now. Yesterday, I was just not feeling good because I hadn't slept well the night before, and the weather was kind of crappy, but today I'm feeling a thousand times better, so I've just gotten so much done. For dinner tonight, I decided to make a wrap. So I have this Southwestern salad. I have half of it left. So I'm going to mix that up, heat up a tortilla, and then heat up my Southwestern Foster Farms chicken. I will mix that into the salad, put it into the heated tortilla, add a little bit of shredded cheese, and that will make a really delicious dinner. Here is the finished product. My wrap was absolutely amazing. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting so inventive. It's bone time for kiddo. He already ate his dinner, but throughout the day he likes to hide his bone. And when he's ready, he digs it up and he eats it. It's kind of like dessert. But it gives him something to do throughout the day since he does love to dig and move it to other locations. In the meantime, I am in the van keeping an eye on him while watching some true crime shows. Today is our last full day at camp. We've been here about 10 days. It is time to move on. I have taken almost everything out of my rooftop box because we've been here for a while. So this afternoon, after I get all of my power stations charged up, I will work on starting to pack everything away. 
I did take my shower yesterday, but I will do another rinse off today since my tent is up and I have water to use. Tomorrow we head back to the valley because my sister is coming in from Miami Beach. And then after that, we will be headed back up north. Just not sure where yet. One thing I've gotten really good at is packing my fridge and getting groceries for an appropriate amount of time. So I this is all I have left in my fridge right now for food, but I leave tomorrow. So I've li I'm literally not wasting food and I'm saving so much money by getting groceries for about four to five days at a time. So I have some dry food left. But what's nice is I get a lot of items like chicken, salad, tortilla, cheese, eggs, bacon, so I can make a lot of different things with the few items that I purchase at the store. So it's been really great because, again, I can go, you know, for well, probably five days without going to the store. It's saving me money. I'm not wasting food. And I'm really comfortable with the space that I have. If you saw my video from the other day, we stopped at the Dollar Tree and I got this super cute little starfish vial and I filled it with blue sand because <laughs> it was giving me Professor Marvel vibes and kind of reminded me of like a potion because I'm super nerdy. So what I'm going to do is put maybe like some cardboard under there to elevate it a little bit, like maybe more like this. And then I'm going to string some fairy lights down beneath it so it looks like it's like lit up at night. <sighs> so yeah, that's my next little project. Let's see what kiddo's doing because I'm pretty sure he's sitting outside of the Maddie wagon, which is one of his favorite spots. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's just chilling in the shade of the tarp. Maddie always keeps an eye on him when he's over there. He knows that's his other home. Such a good boy. It's time to pack up my rooftop box because I took almost everything out of it since we were here for over a week. So I just took out my bag that I put my two by fours in and I will leave that out since I'll need to pack them up in the morning. And I put Winston's gate away. That's the first thing to go because that goes on the bottom of my rooftop box. Then I have my shower tent, my shower, my tool bag, my cones. I have a certain way that I put everything in there so it fits just perfectly. And I pack it up based on how how important things are how often I need them right so like the heaviest stuff goes on the bottom or the stuff that I don't use very often and then on the top goes my chair Winston's playpen and my rug since those are things I use on a consistent basis this is a time lapse in two times speed now I am tall enough to reach everything in my rooftop box from both sides of my van I just put the cones on the other side but I close my trunk and then I'm able to unlock or lock my rooftop box as needed. So it does help to be tall in situations like this because I don't need a step stool or any sort of ladder to reach the contents of my box. Like I said, the last things to go in my rooftop box are Winston's playpen, my chair, and the rug. So I still have those things out because it's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. So we still have the evening to enjoy, but I just like to get ahead of things and I will put this stuff in, uh, in the morning. Oh, also my broom too. My laundry bag and my water jugs all go in my trunk, but I will pack that stuff up later after I finish making dinner. I will need to put my water table away as well as my solar. So I still have some stuff to do, but I wanted to get a bulk, the bulk of packing up my rooftop box done. I got everything packed up in the van and my rooftop box, aside from what I will pack up in the morning, which is what you see here on my rug. I put away my water table and I will dump trash tomorrow morning first thing before I do anything else. So here's my trash ready to dump. 
put in my big water jug, then my laundry bag. Wow, yeah, I have a lot of laundry I need to do beginning tomorrow. But it'll take me just 10 minutes to pack everything else up in the morning and then we'll be ready to hit the road. For the most part, we are packed up and ready to go. This evening I'm listening to the Phoenix Suns game, playoff game number one. So that's what I will be doing. Winston is still outside. <laughs> He's very much resting, but we'll probably hit the road around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's kind of the usual time I like to travel uh, when we are moving locations when camping. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Remember to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.